Hey everybody, so I got a request on how to connect your GT Data Maker to your repository. Um, now, my repository is in a SQL Server, and that's probably one of the best examples because it's kind of tricky. On your machine, what I find the best thing to do is do your ODBC driver and do a 64-bit, okay? Uh, I did it as a system. Notice I named GT Rep. Uh, it says Platform 32, but my connector is 64. That's kind of tricky. There's things on support to kind of help you with that. Uh, just say add, you know, go to your SQL client 11 and then add in the information. Okay, so once it's there, then you can come over here to GT Data Maker, and that kind of helps too. Um, sometimes you have to do that when you're adding data sources, but if you go over and look at mine, so if I say edit profile, um, well, as soon as you open it up, it's going to pull up this window. Hit this green button to add one, uh, and you can have multiples, right? You can also have, only have so many active. So notice I have an ODBC, so that's my connector. Um, and then my source, when you hit refresh, you'll see your uh, ODBC. Now don't do it this way. Don't come over here and click on this to create one, because notice that's a 32-bit, okay? You want a 64-bit, and that's how it picks it up. And I, I may have that reversed, because it's been a while since I've looked at it, but I'm 99.9% .9 positive. That is the deal. It has to be a 64-bit, so therefore just go to your Windows, uh, type in ODBC and you'll see two of them, 32 and 64. Make sure you're using the 64 bit, okay? Um, and then over here, just put in your SQL information and, and you know, make sure you're pointing to your uh, GT Rep database. So, best practices name everything GT Rep. Oh, um, oh it's because I didn't put the password, no big deal. But make sure you name everything GT Rep, the database is GT Rep and all that stuff because that's the default unless you uh, change it. And to add a new one, you hit this little yellow key, go here, uh, say Microsoft, and then next, and then here's where it asks for the ODBC, okay? Um, that's what you got to do. Oracle is a little bit different, but I want to show over here in SQL Server, I have my SQL Server open, and as you can see, I should have a GT Rep database in here somewhere. There it is. And that's what I'm connecting to, okay? Uh, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. To install this, just follow the instructions. There's a couple ways to install this. I don't recommend going in here and modifying this if you don't know what you're doing, because you can break it, and you will break your license agreement with uh, with Broadcom. Uh, I was about to say CA, but it's Broadcom now. Um, so make sure you follow the instructions for connecting your database. They do have a, a database you can restore, and they also have a script you can run. I kind of do them both. I run the script to create the users, and then I restore the tables. Um, anyway, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.